It's your boy Cliff Do Clutch back at it again with another video. I'm glad, I'm glad all you enjoyed the first part of, of my what if. And I want to give give a huge thanks to my boy Crown Clown for putting his putting my first video on his community tab. I give him a good shout out. Make sure you subscribe to my man Crown Clown. And I'll bring you another part of what if Team Ruby was Hisekai to the My Hero Universe. So I'm going to start this video off with a quick recap. So, so, <clears throat> so like Team Ruby, like I explained, like I'm going to explain. So Team Ruby was in their role in the beginning of the art of the what if. Then Ru Ruby using her silver eyes power it accidentally he to cut her and her rest of her team to the my hero universe and they end up in the woods and they finally made it to hosu city it got got attacked by four villains then they, then they did they bet to fight them off to defend herself then the devers took out the villain with the help of help with, with the help of deku's dad isashi modoria and never accused them for the act of vigilantism, and he got interrogated. Yang got got hit, got drugged, and Inko is a pro hero in this story. She she took them to her base and took the and got the officer took the officer back from him. The guy who who's pumped Jang full of truth, truth serum. So I left last off Inko telling Ruby, Ruby White and Blake that she could live with her and her husband with her younger son. So I've got enough with a recap. I'm gonna do this video right now. So like I said in the last part, Inko's told them you can come stay with. Stay with me, and my, stay with me, and my husband and my younger son. And her daughter went to, where is where, went to like to her friends for high school because her her house is too far away to her high school was at. So you could say to Ruby, you know, like come stay with us. We got lots of rooms. And Ruby said, okay, they all agree, okay. Then a few hours later. Yang finally recovered from her doses of truth serum, and Ruby told everything what she, what Inko told them to Yang. Yang said, "Okay, so we're gonna go. We got time to get to when Inko brought Ruby and them to her house, and she had a nice little nice little like mansion because she a pro her her and Saki are pro heroes." And okay, and Inko said, "Azuku, Azuku, come down here and meet, meet you get meet our guests." So like, Azuku said, "Mom, mom, mom, I just got shower. Let me at least get dressed." Azuku, Inko said, "Now, now, Azuku, like, uh, all right, all right, all right." He came up. He was in the towel, walking down, walking down the stairs. Said, "Yeah, mom, what's up?" Uh, like, yes, mom. Azuku, the like, oh. Like, okay, Azuku, this is this is Ruby, Weiss, Yang, and Blake. These they these four girls are gonna be living with us. I was like, um, okay. And Azuku walks walk towards towards Ruby. You say, um, hey, are you okay? You seem a little red. I'm like, um, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, um, you sure? He 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 put his hands on Ruby's face. Thing, like he warm, he seemed a little warm too. Uh, and she face turned bright red. And like I said, like, "Oh, you okay?" Ruby's like, "Yeah." She turned around, to cover her face, like holding the towel. Said, "Um, are you sure you're okay?" Said, yeah. Why said, "Oh," why walked over the deck. Walk over the deck and said, "Oh, hello, hello, I said, hello." Like I said, I'm white Smead. To meet you, Zuki. 
Lucas said, huh, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Rubbing the back of his head, still wearing his towel. He walked over to to, to Blake and y the Yang said, oh, what's up? Oh, hey. Look at Midoriya. Oh, Yank, uh, I'm Yang. Let me see. Yeah. You too. Then he finally, Zuka walked over to the Blake. He said, "Oh, hey, nice to meet, nice to meet you, Blake." So, what you do? Okay, you look all, all for the girls. Like, so what? What all you, all y'all doing here? And Inko explained, Inko explained to the deck, to Deku what was going on and what their situation was. The Deku said, "Oh, I, Deku said, oh, I understand." And they got. He got stitched where Deku finally got dressed, got on his PJs, and got ready, got ready to make dinner with his mom. And finally, Asashi came home and said, I'm home. Cracking his, cracking his neck, he sit, got, sat down on the couch, lighting a cig. He said, so, so how was your, how your day, how was your day at school? Was it, like, uh, it was good. Same old, same old. Girls keep trying to flirt with me and all that other stuff. Uh, it's getting annoying. I, I keep trying to ignore them. They keep always coming after me. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably because my dad, the number number two hero, and my mom, the number three hero. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> And Sashi started laughing. Uh, yeah, probably. So how you would show up, Ben? And yeah, yes, y'all. Deku not in the same school as Bakugo, but he is in the same school as Sh Todoroki and Momo in middle school. And you ain't gonna be a college. So he said, "Yeah, me and Shoto been been like distant lately. Ever since he got that scar on his face, and he knocked like." Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had to use the restroom. So, back when I was going, she's saying, ever since she got a scar, he been distant and not using his other side of his quirk. I don't know why. He stopped hanging out recently. And Momo, oh my God. Oh my God. She get she always flaring with me. She would be me or Todoroki. She'd be, be flaring with, but, hey, you know, I don't know what's up with her. So, oh, how you day? How you day? As I worked there, he went, he talked to his dad. Said, "Oh yeah, my day at work was fine." Explaining what happened, the whole thing with with and the whole thing with Shoto's father. He said, "Oh, that's crazy." He said, "Oh shit, that was crazy, man." <laughs> so that what happened. So endeavor. Endeavor just accused him for an act of vigilante, vigilanteism. So, but the only, but they only defended themselves. Wow, that's crazy. Is it all laying back chilling? So finally, Inko, Inko finally finished with dinner and both all the finally talked and ate and Lucas and okay. Type of bed, like any of y'all, okay. The fountain, <laughs> like, all right, I'll lead y'all to your rooms, or <laughs> like, come on, like, he said, like, you you and wife could take the guest, like, you and like, Lucas said, you and the Blake, that were, yeah, Blake and wife could take the guest room, Ruby could take his, his sister's room, and Yang, you can go in my room. I'll take the couch. They all agreed, and Ruby he led Ruby to his sister's room. He uh, Ruby said, "Oh, oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Like no problem." And you like close the door. Like the showers said around the corner. Around the corner, you, you want to take a shower. Then he went to. Then he went to Blake. He's like, hey. Um, you, you got any like clothes you want to? I got still got work. Excuse me, I still got some. I got some old PJs. My sister left here, and he's like, oh, and Yank and Blake said, "Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you." 
she all blushing and stuff like uh you to say um you okay Blake Blake said oh yeah oh yeah I'm fine so she got in the, so she got to up a few ten minutes later she got in the shower she got she put on the the frog pajamas and she said, uh, okay I'll like it's fine you look not you look say you look nice see like they fit you well is it say um you ain't wasted wearing your Oh, uh, excuse me, Blake. Why you still wearing your bow? You about to go to bed, right? Sleep, right? And Blake said, "Oh yeah, I am, but I like to keep the bow on." But Zuku asks Yang nicely, like, "Um, you got something to hide, Yang? Like, you gotta be a, a shame of, of what you got." Yang started blushing. I said, "Um, yeah." He said, "Zuku, like, Zuku said, yeah." Promise me you keep this. A, promise you won't be afraid of me or scared or keep this a secret between us. Look at now and say, oh, okay. And she took the bow off her hair and showed she had two cat ears. So like, I'm a Zuku. Where, where I'm at, I'm a fauna. Where I was, where I was, where I come from, fauna were illegal, like illegal, and, and we. Go, the legal stuff. Izuku said, "Hey, hey, where in this place, in this world, like people with with that type of have cat features and call have mutation quirks, so you won't be like criticized being having cat ears. Just be yourself, Yang. Be yourself, Blake. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do." You don't have to be afraid of who you are. That's who you are, Blake. Let you be who you are. You don't have to be afraid no more. You're not at. You're not where you were before. I will. If anyone picks on you, about you about it. I got your back, Yang. I mean, Blake. I promise you that. Blake. Like eyes wide and started tearing up, saying, "Thank you, Izuku. I really appreciate that. You're the first person who ever was accept me who I am." Izuku smiled, saying, "No problem." So we're gonna t- gonna be time sk- in two days later. During those two days, Blake finally told Ruby and them about her being a fauna, and the same thing like like that happened in the original Ruby series. They accepted. Accepted Blake for who she is, and the final, like during those two days, Inko finally enrolled them to the same school as De- as Deku, and so so we're gonna kind of see the first day of uh, Blake and them's first day of school. So Zuku was walking, both Zuku and and Ruby and them were walking to, to the, the in the school. <laughs> so, walking to school, and and Azuku saw show up, show Todoroki. He said, "Yo, Todoroki, so the to- Todoroki said, "Oh, Midoriya, how you been?" He said, "Oh, I'm fine. How you been? I'm good." Then f- suddenly, Momo Yarosa came. Dog jumping on his shoulder back. Like, hey, Shoto, how you been? Like, oh, I'm fine, Momo. I'm fine, Momo. Uh, uh, he, he said, I'm fine, Yari y- Rozu. I'm do- <laughs> Can you please let go of me? Like, oh, I'm sorry. And White saw Shoto Todoroki. He started blushing a bitch. They, oh my, like, wow, she, he's cute. <laughs> I, w- I want to be with him. <laughs> The white went towards Sh- Shoto and said, "Oh, hello. My name is my name is White Smead. I'm gonna meet you, Shoto. Oh, nice to meet you too." Blush. And White blushed a bit. And I said, "Oh." <laughs> the Yang started laughing. He's like, "Oh, first day of school, she already have a crush." <laughs> and Blake was laughing too. Like, yeah. He said. Ruby said, "Oh, that's okay. 
<laughs> wow. Odo really has to him have a lot on his plate now, having two girls on him. <laughs> That's to be him. Well, so, sorry, keep, sorry I had to t split show though from y'all ladies. Me and him had the same homeroom class, so have, good luck. And who else got homeroom class 1C? Ruby said, oh, I have it. Like, Come on, I'll show you where it's at. And Mama said, what class you off to you got? And Blake said, cl homeroom class A. And White said, homeroom class D. And and Blake said, homeroom class A, too. Like, so, And Mama said, oh, you had the same class as me. I'll take you to And I, and White said, I can show you where class C is. I'm B. D is so like okay. The so time skip to lunch time. People, they all having lunch, talking. And Luca seeing seeing Momo, Momo and White sitting next to sitting next to Shoto, try to talk to him. Besides, like, um, here they go again with this art, with the uh, who wants Shoto business. <laughs> it's only been her first day, and she always wants Shoto already. Wow, that's crazy. So, oh, he just relaxed and eating his lunch. And suddenly, he saw so saw a bunch of bully bullying Blake about her having cat ha having cat ears. Like the bully said, "Oh, look, look at this girl. She, she this mutation freak. She has cat ears." So she, people just pull the bullies are pulling our ears and stuff. And Luke was like, oh, I'm sick and tired of these fucking bullies. He slammed the tray, got up, and walked towards the bullies. Like, hey, leave her alone. Like, oh, you gonna protect the mutation freak? <laughs> like he should. Then one of the bullies threw a punch at Deku. He, he, he made his whole body into ice, into icy mist, and he he went his so his fit went through his stomach. Like, that's all you got. And Deku just not swung his fist at at the bully. He's like, "Y'all weak. You forgot who my parents are. My parents are the number number two and three hero, Blizzard and Ice Empress. You really think you could be? You really think you could beat me?" The other bully said, "Who was not a punch?" He's like, "Deku." Deku dodged it, like, really? I'm really not a move for this. He just knocked, he just knocked the other other bully out, like, anyone else trying to mess with her? The other bully just ran away. It's like, ah. He said, hey, Blake, you all right? Blake said, yeah, thank you for saving me, Deku. Like, I mean, Izuku. <laughs> he said, no problem. Got her up, helped her up. He said, went back to, to lunch, eating his lunch with so they're gonna time skip after school. They walk. They were walking. They were about to walk to their limo. And Weiss Gates, Weiss Gates, Todoroki, her number. Like, here, call me sometimes. So like, she said, um, okay. And she ran to went to the limo. And gonna be, what's going? I'm going to do another time skip to the the set the middle of of their middle school year. Of the third year, you just have a norm with a normal day, chilling, chilling in the classroom. Suddenly, a, a canister of gas fruit went in, inside the window. It was like everybody said, "What the hell? What the hell going on?" The teacher was knocked out. Almost all the student was knocked out. Only people was left be left up was a freak was Deku, Ruby, and and Shoto. Everybody said, "What's going on?" Then a couple of goons, a couple of goons, knock, 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 Deku, Ruby, and Shoto out. And everything went. Then we got time skip a few hours later, waking up in a abandoned alley, abandoned warehouse. And a woman with long hair, red eyes, said, "Well, well, well. Guess what we have here? We have the son of the number, the number four hero, the son of the." 
the number two and three hero and the Rishi Thar Momo Yahoo Momo Yahoo who wrote Zoo. You look at one of the guards like Hey you're like, yes man. Like I told you to bring Momo the girl Momo Yahoo Rose and this not did this look like Momo Yahoo Rose to you? The, the guard looking at Ruby like oh, no man <sighs> The woman with red, blonde hair said, wiped her eyes said, yeah, this is get hiring morons. She pulled out her gun and, and shot, blew, blew his head, blew the, the stupid guard's head off. Yeah. I'm sorry. But you will do it as well. So, hello. My name is <laughs> Madam, Madam Ace. <laughs> and this is we're gonna be a we gotta have a little ransom for for both of you or and I'm gonna get back at the get number three number two hero for putting all my all my original crew in jail in prison. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> She's smiling. She looked at she looked at Zuku said. You coming with me? She, she grabbed. Ruby, Ruby screaming. Izuku, like, don't worry, I'll be fine. Just stay, stay strong. You show to stay strong. I'm like, you, why, why, made it, I'm out of Ace. Lady Ace was taking Deku to a, to another room. And now the guards, the two guards. It was three guards. Now it's two guards. Two guards were watching over uh, Ruby and Ruby and Shoto. Ruby was scared, and Shoto said, "It's okay. It's okay, Ruby. Just stay strong, like like Zuku said. We're gonna make this. We're gonna get out of here." She said, "Okay." So we're gonna we're gonna switch to the specter of Yang and, of Yang. Yang getting worried, punching. Punching the holes in the wall, said, "Damn it! What the hell? What the hell? They took my sister. What the hell?" Blake said, "Yang, calm down. Calm down. How the hell I'm gonna calm down? A couple of thugs took took deck, took Zuku and Ruby. I said, little. So you want me to calm down? Blake said, please." Yeah, I went. I went Blake. She, she y'all, the, the crew also took Shoto. She took Todoroki. Like, like really? You, you talk, really? You always, you worry about a, a boy that you met a, a few months ago, over our own friend and and my sister. And Inko said, "Calm down, you three. We got, we doing our we doing the best we can this to to, to find." Find all three of them. Yeah, yep, we are. And me and Fireface around, around, around whole built around city with other pros to find to find them too. This fucking one hell of a fucking day. I wonder who did this. Can't be my old my own my own enemy, freaking Lady Ace. Probably could should be probably is her, but Lady Ace, was, her she she did a lot of drug drug trafficking and killing a lot of. Yep, yep, that exactly her that is her. Because I arrested her whole crew, but she managed to escape because her crew hold me back. Now she want to take revenge. Take revenge. For me arresting her, her entire crew, I can't believe he put my, grab my, put my son into our little game, a little rival, little, little dispute. <sighs> Great, now I had to deal with. It. All right, we're, and we're gonna talk, we're gonna go back to de to Zuku's perspective. Zuku was getting beat up, getting. Cause, 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 
Lady Ace wanted Deku to join her because she could see the dark, the darkness, the, <laughs> see the inner evil, you know, you know, villain in him. He said, "Come on, come on, it, come on, Midoriya, just join me here. I could, you could have the whole world if you with me." Like, he keep telling her, "No, I won't." He that she beat some again, punching him, kicking him. He said, come, like, come on, Zuku, why why you keep being stubborn? <sighs> You're just like your father. <laughs> Always the stubborn type. Well, how the hell you know my father? Because I know you were a villain. <laughs> but how do you feel like you know my father t in a personal level? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I do. I do know him in the personal levels, Midoriya. I, mean, I was his first girlfriend, by the way. Let me probably introduce myself. My name is Je my name is Jessica Har Harphelia. I was your I was Isashi's first girlfriend. Like what? You look at I Y and say what? You were my father's first girlfriend. That's interesting. So you doing this because you of jealousy? Because uh, my father chose my mom over you? He said no. She kicked. She kicks the kick the chair over. and Say no. I'm not doing it because a little petty love. I'm doing this because your father took my crew, the rest of my crew. Now I need to rebuild, uh, rebuild my crew. No. Now I got is a, a, a bunch of idiots who don't know. A pick cannot find a woman, a girl named Momo. Yeah, can find a girl, find Momo. Yeah, the pair for a girl with long black hair to a girl with red hair, red black hair. So you, know, I'm dealing with they with morons. So having you by my to join my crew, I would have the whole. It'd be more easier. But you, you are you stubborn like your father is, so I gotta keep beating the living shit out of you to get what I want. As you keep going over and over, beating them and beating them, they finally said, "Okay, I'm. I feel like the pros here are about to come soon." She, you told her, the, the two guards, says, "Go, go ahead, set the bombs." I wait, wait, bombs. Yep. If you're not gonna join me, so. I will just blow this rat warehouse up with you, with you, with you three in it. So, if you survive, hope to God if you survive. She threw a card at him like, "Give me a call if you change your mind." <laughs> see, see, is it can <laughs> set the bomb for for twenty seconds, and she left with her crew, with the remaining crew she has. To, for she was with the Ruby and Shodoroki. Shodoroki was getting beat up, beat up, and Ruby was was getting like, was getting badly bruised and beat up. Ruby was just standing there watching. She telling the guards, "Stop, stop, leave him alone, leave him alone." And suddenly he said, "You heard? He finally got the call from the ball, from the boss. He said, "Yo, the boss said to set the bombs up and, and we we out of here." He said, all right, he set the bombs up to 20, 20 seconds. He's like, I hope y'all two, two, hope you two, hope you two survive. P, L, I, C, I. He's like, what? Can you still, yeah. Uh, coughing up blood. He's like, yeah, I can. He's like, they broke, trying to broke off the, sha the, sh the, trying to break out the, the shackles and, and out, of, out of the bindings and try to, Trying to try to run, try to find find Zuku. So we're gonna type it a few late, minutes later. They found Zuku. Zuku was already be, badly be, beating up, badly bruised. They finally got they, they took the sh they took the shock the bindings off of Zuku. And he's like, okay, we need to get out. But but Je Jessica already locked all the locked off all the entrance and exits. So they were trapped in there. Deku said, "Like, damn." He saw the skylight. He said, "Okay, I, 
he used his quirk to make a freaking make an ice ramp. He told he told he told Todoroki and Ruby said, "Go go take go to the skylights. I try to I try to try to defuse the bombs." Like Ruby said, "Wait, you hey Ducky, what? What? That's crazy. You can't do that. In, you only have like ten sec, probably ten seconds left and, to to the to the to so this whole warehouse explodes. Like I have to tell my tell my mom and I, I have to. I'm sorry. Like, they shut up. Told you. He stopped out Ruby. Like showed up. Please take. Like told Rookie Naughty and took Ruby and and slide up the the, the ice ramp and went out the skylight. That we went to the first. T- Bomb. He tried to. He he managed to disarm one of the bombs. He tried to go to the one, but he to his respect, he to his unknown knowledge, he she at the bomb everywhere in the warehouse. He said, "Oh shit!" He see Morris bomb. He, he used it. He went to a supernova like with the sub zero levels. Did a blizzard. He went to sub zero levels just freeze all the bombs best he can so to minimize the damage. Then suddenly the warehouse exploded. Inko Sashi saw the explosion a mile away. They said, right there. Like, Inko screaming, Izuku! She, they all run, running to her, the, the, the blow, blow up warehouse. See, any survivor made it. Suddenly they saw only showed up only saw Shoto and Ruby and Ruby was knocked out. Endeavor said, Shoto, you will get you can't so t- uh, scoff said, Yeah, I'm fine, father. What what the hell were you? Like, if you were like, here who would have sacrificed himself to save us? He just he just walked away and gave gave Ruby to Ruby the Inko, like, I'm sorry for your loss. He said He's sorry. He had to do this. He he chose to save us instead of saving himself. He was crying, saying, "My little baby boy." Oh, and Sasuke was comforting her, saying, "I'm sorry. It's okay." Trying to stay, try to stay, stay confident and keep, trying to stop himself from crying. So, guns. All went back, got the reports, and all went back. So, gun goes to see a woman with a red suit with a name named Kennedy, leader of the of the task force of a task force that stopped that stopped people who would quirks who go out of control. She said. Poor ne- my poor nephew. I'm not gonna let you die here. In this, I'm not gonna let you die here. She said. He said. Kikyo. Kikyo. I said, yeah. Get get him out that rubble and, and bring him to to the labs. It's like yeah, of course. Anything for my old best. From my old childhood best friend. So she grabbed Azuku and took it to, to the truck. And that's going to leave it off here. Hope you like this video. Hope you like, like, subscribe, comment down below. And comment down below. This is your boy Cliff Two Clutch. I wish you all y'all a good, good nine, good day, nine day judges by timestamp. All right. Have a great day.